Hello, it's Deborah from Attic Lane and today I'm ready finally to share with you three Scottish themed journals that I've taken quite a long time over making because it was very important to me that I got these absolutely right. So I'm going to do you a flip through. The journals are essentially the same but I'll do you a flip through to show you in what ways they are slightly different from each other and as I go through I'll explain how I've made the choices that I've made. All three of these journals will go on my Etsy store uh, once this video goes live so they will be there to be purchased and by all means please go and have a look at them. I'm going to start with this one and the first thing that I want to show you is the way that the textures all work together to in my mind suggest Scottishness but without screaming tartan and bagpipes. It was very important to me that I gave a sense of the Scotland that I grew up in which was not stereotypical um, and that was authentic to what uh, I remember and, and what I, I still go and visit. So these journals were all made to give a, a sense of Scottishness without uh, necessarily being all tartan and sort of shortbread tin. So I've used the stag theme an awful lot throughout. You'll see a lot of stamping through the book, you'll see a lot of stenciling through the book, um, but used subtly so that it doesn't scream at you. The the whole journal was actually suggested uh, about six months ago when I saw this piece of fabric and what really spoke to me about the fabric were the colours because these are the colours of Scotland. So the oatmeal colours, the biscuity colours, the dark that you get in the lochs. When you look at a, a loch, if you look at Loch Ness as an example, you look at the water, the water isn't blue, it's dark, it's almost black and that's partly because of the depth of the loch. Um, and it's partly because of the peaty surrounding uh, the lock, the peaty earth that surrounds it. And so the water is, is almost black and it's grey. And I took these colours as my theme throughout all of the journals. The other thing that was very important to me was that the ephemera was authentic. And I've got some really exciting things in here to show you. So let me just start with, uh, in this journal, there is uh, a little uh, postcard, which is an old postcard I found about uh, Scottish country dancing. And there are two genuine postcards. Now these date from, uh, this one dates from 1986. And this one is, uh, doesn't have a date on it. Oh, there we go, 83. So these are, are, are nicely aged um, postcards with some very pretty pictures. And they're tucked in a pocket which has the theme of dancing. The dog wants to tell you about this as well. <laughs> Scottish country dancing is a big theme throughout this book because it's what you learn. As a child going to school in Scotland, you learn loads and loads of Scottish country dances. And I found wonderfully, I'd searched for a long time and I found books teaching you the dances. I knew they were out there uh, and I did some hunting around and I found them. And so these excerpts from these books make an appearance as well. This keeps going with the stag theme. This is a beautiful stag die cut that I have and I've used it to sew onto a piece of tartan type paper and inside is a little notebook. The other thing that I've done throughout the journal is I've added in words that, that say Scotland. Um, so this word here is Cayley, this word is thistle and these open out there's a nice bit of uh, stamping here and then there's a little booklet in there that you can make notes in. There's a lot of space throughout here to make, uh, to either add pockets or add little corners where you can tuck things into or just to write straight onto the pages. There, are, There's a lot of space in this book for you to do that um, and there's a lot of personal um, ephemera and personal embellishments. There's some more stamping on this page. Um, there's a word here, Caledonia, for Scotland. And then this is a little bookmark in a glassine type bag, which 
I have cut a little bit of extra detail into it at the top there. Maybe you can, not sure the best way to show you that. And this is a hand stamped bookmark. Again, the theme of the stag, there are fir trees. On the reverse, as another word associated with Scotland, mountains, and then a little image of what could be a, a piece of gorse or a piece of um, pine, perhaps. But I deliberately haven't done any more to that, so you can do with that as you wish. You can use it as a bookmark, you can use it as a bookmark in your journal or in whatever book you happen to be reading at the moment. It's entirely up to you. You could add um, some lace or ribbon in the top of there if you wanted to. This opens out, but the pieces are held, so it's not um, stitched or glued at the bottom. So it will open all the way out if you want to use that for writing, or if you want to use it as a tuck spot, you, you could glue on the bottom. And there are some tags. These are tea stain tags. And there are some, in each journal, there is one very special tag, which has got Scottish words secreted in it. Um, and I haven't always provided an explanation for these, because I think it's quite fun to see a word and, and, and uh, maybe Google it and find out what it means. But some of these words are referenced later on in the journal. So I've got first footing, croft, guising, this appears later in the journal, this word, and tatty bogle. Tatty Bogle doesn't appear later in the journal, but it's a word that I remember very well, uh, and it means scarecrow. <laughs> it's a great word for a scarecrow. And on the reverse is the word Hogmanay. So these tags are a little bit more special. They're a little bit or more ornate. And everything is held in place with a copper coloured paper clip. This lace is very special as well. It's a highly pleated lace, it's actually elasticated, but the pleats are very like the pleats of a kilt. A kilt is very, very tightly pleated, and this lace just reminds me so much of that tight pleating on a kilt, so it was absolutely ideal to use in these journals. It's been stitched with a zigzag stitch to hold it onto the page, and there's a little bit more stamping down here with these little stags. This is a glassine bag which again has got the stag's head as a theme. And in this pouch are details of the Scottish year. Now, this is um, part of my sort of personal ephemera. And I've inked up some cards and I've done stenciling on them. And then I have found a way that I can, uh, it's taken me a long time to do it, but I found a way to uh, scan these into my computer, copy them, and then I can print onto them. So I'm really pleased with these, but the, the artwork is, um, is original artwork. And in these four little pages are stories about a traditional Scottish year, starting from Hogmanay and explaining the traditions of New Year and First Footing and all of the um, associated traditions of Hogmanay and going on to uh, January when uh, traditionally you celebrate uh, Robert Burns with a Burns Night Supper. And I've got a menu for a uh, Burns Night Supper here including your translation. And I've got the Selkirk Grace, which is the grace that you say before you have your burn supper. And it's all on that page. And then going through the year, some of the different uh, things that are celebrated throughout the year, like Beltane, Lammas Day, there are still Lammas fairs in Scotland, very, very old, very ancient fairs. Uh, and then Halloween, because Halloween is celebrated slightly differently in Scotland. And that's where guising, on that word that was mentioned earlier, that's where guising comes in. And then St Andrew's Day, the patron saint of Scotland. So those four little um, note, note pages contain information about a traditional Scottish year. And it was lovely to write that up and remind myself of what happens in Scotland because you do forget just how different things are. Then I come on to the tags. Now the tags, I've got three tags here and these are made from playing cards. Um, I had to get tartan in here somewhere so I did decide to go with these playing cards to use them to make the tags on these, on these pages. And attached to the tags are three little let me find a better way to show you these. Three little charms. This one is a little Scotty dog. It's so cute. This one is a stag's head. And that's just so majestic. The stag is so closely associated with Scotland. 
and on this one it's an antler just one single antler I think they're absolutely beautiful and then there, there's more um, stenciling so I have a stencil which has got a slightly tartan effect and it's darker in the center and it's blended lighter out into the page there's more stamping on the top of this page these are all tea stained papers um, in a variety of textures and weights um, this is probably for me this is probably the most uh, special this image um, is an image that from a photograph that I took of a very famous um, outdoor sculpture in Scotland near Falkirk and it's a picture of water kelpies and these are mythical beasts and this page it's it's actually uh, quite a, a firm card and it tells you the story the legend of these water kelpies um, and again this this is based on artwork uh, that I did and then I scanned and I've printed onto the top of and this is this is something that um, I'm really pleased with this and again it's in colours that are grey and dark rather than blues which you would associate with with water being water kelpies but it's not it's in these darker greys because most of the water when you look into the lochs in Scotland is grey it's not it's rarely rarely is it blue then there are three pages which are narrower as you go into the centre of the book and they're ripped and they're also inked there's also more stamping here with the fir trees in the corner of this page and these are lined pages to make it nice and easy for you to write on and then this is an extra little place where you can write now the stag's head features again this has been embossed with um, a beautiful dark brown embossing powder three times to give this real depth um, there's a tiny tiny little bit of writing here about the scotch thistle and continuing the theme of the fabric and the inside cover of the book that's a little bit attached there and then there are some pages inside where you can write and that clips into place there I've just done that on a paper clip so that if you did want to move that and use it elsewhere in the book you're free to do so and that brings us into the middle of the book and this is this is really special um, well I, th I think this is really special I hope you will agree this is um, an extract from uh, a book from the 1950s showing you how to dance some of the Scottish country dances what I absolutely love about this book are these little figures because you can see the way they're standing you know where they are in the dance you know that they're in motion you know if they're twirling around each other and I think these little tiny pictures are just beautiful and they're so expressive they're just simple little line drawings but they're really really expressive and I had to include them in these journals because I think these are really special um, I've also kept the consecutive numbering so that you can actually follow the story of the dance through so for example 40, page 45, page 46, 47, 48, 49 50, 51 and 52 so that you can follow the process through you're not chopping and changing and that's the centre of the book I've left the ties uh, where I've done a, a pamphlet stitch quite long so that if you wanted to add anything to the end of those you could and then going back out through the book again there's more of this stamping with the fir trees and the lined paper and again if you look at it from this side these three papers are ripped and inked and they've got lovely texture to them this is another special little pocket because this pocket contains recipes these are genuine genuine recipes um, that my family have cooked for a long time or baked this one I've used my my lovely artwork again where I've uh, scanned it in and I've uh, I've copied it and I've been able to uh, then print onto the top of it this is really crumbly shorty shortbread and it's a brilliant recipe if you love shortbread do give this one a go it's ever so good but that's a genuine recipe so um, from from uh, many many years ago these have been on the go since at least the 70s and then I've also included a 
proper Scottish stovies recipe. And if you don't know what stovies are, you'll get it in this recipe and you will learn how to make them. You may not want to read that if you're vegetarian or vegan. Moving on through the book, this little pocket here is uh, glued at the bottom and there are some more tea stained large tags this time. This has been uh, stenciled and there are some uh, words on the reverse of that and it's stitched down the side. And then this has been taken from a piece of paper about uh, burns and burn suppers and I've had that for some time actually and it was a brilliant way to be able to use that up. On the inside, this flap opens up again, it's not glued at the bottom, and on the inside are two photographs which I've taken from uh, my collections, my, the, my last visit uh, to Scotland, and I've uh, made them a little bit more vintage-y vin vintage in style, and this is Highland Cow. Um, Highland Cows feature quite prominently, so they are in there as well. There's more of this beautiful pleated lace, more stamping at the top, and a little bit more stenciling, again darker in the centre, getting softer as we move out through the page. Um, and then more loads and loads of open space, more stenciling. There's another glassine bag at the back here, and this is where I can really show you to full effect those uh, images that I told you about where I found a way to scan them in. There are nine of these these are ATC size, so artist trading card size. They are in blue, oatmeal, grey and heather. These are the four colours that are the theme of this journal. And there is also a little page from an even smaller dance book. They're just so sweet. So these go in this glassine pocket at the back and the top of the pocket is reinforced because it's actually been turned over several times so you don't need to worry too much about ripping that it's not too delicate there's more stamping here with the stags and then finally in the back these are some playing cards that I did a video on some time ago altering uh, playing cards I've included them in here because they have they're on the back of a Scottish playing card and I thought they were a fun thing to have and again they've got Scottish words associated with them. There's a lovely blue textured uh, piece of thread holding all of those into position and there's a little stag die cut. So this has been die cut and I've left it loose so that if you wanted to put it somewhere else in your book you can. It's not stuck in place and they pop in that little pocket at the end. And that is the end of that journal. So I'm going to call that journal one. So if you're looking for this on Etsy this one will be journal one. And that's how I will remember. I will put a little, I um, don't know where I'll put that, but I'll put that somewhere on the journal. And now I'm going to do a flip through of the other ones. I'll just add some music and I'll just flip through the pages. You'll see how similar they are. You'll see some of the differences. There are some different charms on uh, some of these tags and I'll show you those as we flip through.
going to say thank you very much for watching as always I hope you enjoyed this flip through I hope you got some ideas for your own journals as well I hope you found some inspiration these are going to be listed in my Etsy store and I hope we'll see each other again soon in the meantime take care